So if you're looking for the latest transfer news and speculation around Wolverhampton Wanderers, you've come to the right place because in this one, we have a really intriguing one. So make sure you stay to the end. So yes, lots to get through in this. Uh, you wanted um, some striker uh, transfer news and rumour. Well, we've got some today that's appeared and this is the details. Wolves are reportedly bidding for Matteo Rotegi. He's a top scorer in Argentine league and an agreement apparently is in place for Rotegi to sign for Italian club Genoa. Uh, but there are reports in Argentina that Wolves are looking to hijack the deal. Uh, Genoa have reportedly uh, bid 12 million euros. Wolves have apparently gone in uh, with 14 million. There's been several clubs linked with him, including our local rivals Aston Villa. Rotegi uh, scored 30 goals in 40 appearances for Tigra on loan from Boca Juniors. He's 24 and he's played for Argentina under 20s, but he made his full Italian uh, debut uh, in March, scoring two from three appearances. He qualifies for Italy thanks to his grandparents uh, being from uh, Sicily. Also today, uh, Ryan Giles has made the news. You know how I feel about Ryan Giles. I wanted to see he's given a chance, but apparently he has not travelled uh, to Portugal. And there's another player that has intriguingly not travelled to Portugal as well, but we'll give you the news on that in a moment. Uh, the more news has come today uh, that obviously we knew Middlesbrough and Luton were interested but apparently it's Luton that the destination seems to be and things are advancing for a four million move plus add-ons. Um, you know Rob Edwards is the manager of Luton obviously he's got close connections with Wolves so would be uh, very disappointing uh, if he's not given a chance but like yeah leave your thoughts on that one. Also that's been loaned out is uh, Hoover. Um, he's gone back to, uh, to Stoke. Wolves have signed an extra 12 months contract extension so he hasn't got 12 months. And joining him is Chiquino, another player that I was really excited to see coming back because he was fantastic for Wolves. He played nine games. Matt Hobbs has said that he needs to uh, get game time and they've sent him out uh, for that reason. There's a lot of competition in the forward areas. But another one that I'm a little bit disappointed about, he's gone on loan uh, to Stoke City as well. So they've got a good one there. And Wolves do have a recall option on both in uh, January. According to Portuguese newspapers, the record representatives from Wolves were in Lisbon on Wednesday. The, there the scouts watched a friendly between Sporting and Genk uh, to keep an eye on forward uh, Yusuf Chimiti. Sporting would be interested in negotiating if a fair bid comes in uh, and would want at least 20 million euros plus 20% of any future sales. Committee is protected currently by an £80 million release clause and in a contract till 2027. Wolves have done uh, business, as you know, previously with Sporting. Several English clubs are considering moves for the Uruguay midfielder Emilio Martinez, including Wolves, since joining FC Mitterland uh, from Brazilian club Red Bull Bragatino in January. The 23-year-old star has received a lot of high praise. There's no more news currently on Alex Scott, but these seem to be the latest developments. Uh, Wolves, of course, so far have brought in two free transfers. Another player uh, coming up shortly, but it's also been reported today that Wolves goalkeeping coach Tony Roberts has left the club and is talking to Italian giants AC uh, Milan. That's a very interesting uh, development indeed. Don't forget the uh, the free signing Tom King from Northampton came into Wolves uh, because of uh, Tony Roberts. So. Obviously, new goalkeeping coach coming in as well. Uh, and the last bit of news. Oh, yeah, I said to stay to the end because just in the last few minutes, uh, an intriguing Instagram story has appeared on Daniel Pedenti's Instagram. This is the picture, uh, a little emoji sun on a very dark grey sky, suggesting he is still in the UK and has not travelled with uh, Wolves to Portugal. 
uh, rumours uh, circulating, and I've heard this, that there's a couple of English clubs that were interested in him, but favourite to be moving to Rail Betis for around about £10 million, so maybe that deal is close to yet another outgoing transfer at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Until the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave, always Wolves.